Hi guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to Undertale. Look at it, there's a new character. Where's Sans gone? Out to lunch. Oh. <laughs> okay, I just got a phone call off Undyne saying I have to meet with Snowden, so let's go. Let's go find her. Oh, there we go. Um, so, I have a favour to ask you. Uh, I, uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alpheus. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, well, it's kind of personal, but we're a friend, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So, here you go. You got the dying letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Okay. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. <laughs> oh I'm still really confused about what Sans meant. I reckon I probably missed out. Like, after he said it, I was like, does this mean I'm going to have to reload and go back? Or does he want me to go back and do it all over again? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to find Alpheus. Hopefully she's here. The door has no, no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Oh, you'll keep the letter and make it warm. Uh, for a long why why can't I go in? Why am I not allowed inside? Is she not letting me in? Maybe if I try the other side? Um cell first, uh papyrus. That's Alpheus house. Hey, why don't we all go over and watch enemy? Enemy? Isn't that kind of a cartoon for small children? Oh my god. Anime isn't just for kids, it's deep. It's emotional. It's the sound a baby makes. An emotion. The sound a baby makes? What? Oh, uh, does this it? I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, because it's how I'm feeling right now. Okay. Um, let's say first. Yep, you're feeling determined, safe. Why can't I go back in? I do. What does let her? Maybe if you check the lab door, you can slide it underneath. Oh, okay. Why can't I go in? Slide the letter underneath, slide. You slide the letter under the door and you give it a knock. Oh, oh no. No, it's... It, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um... It should kind of strong, isn't it? Wait a sec. What the heck? <laughs> hey! If this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who it could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all that gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. What? What? <laughs> date and stuff? What? No, you've got the wrong idea. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. <laughs> hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Um, okay. Um, I gotta give you items to rate your affection statistics first. <laughs> That'll increase the chance of successful outcome into the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. 
but first I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your skills. Your um, skills. Uh, well, how about this magical spear you repair kit? I uh, would die. Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the day. Day didn't start. Yeah, let's uh, date. <laughs> you like how I died and she likes you. The garbage tub. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. Oh, we find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really. Um. Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Well, why? Because, um, well, oh no. She, here she comes. Oh! Hey, there you are! I, uh, realised if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh. You don't have it. <laughs> have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes, I want this oven. Come on! So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, sir. Huh? I, uh... I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne and the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's well up my league. N not that you aren't. Um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the real scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her I told her so many lies. She thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or the truth, where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like myself. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I, I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay it. Let's roleplay it. Uh, roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. <laughs> okay, well, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Uh, Alright, obviously. <laughs> uh -huh. Hi Undyne, how are you doing today? You're cute. I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Um, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alpheus? Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You, you see, I, I, oh, forget it. Undyne, I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. I <laughs> like telling me that you'll beat up anyone who gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, no, I was just, um... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two? 
on a date. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, I actually, we are only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I have been lying to you. What? What about? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was actually, I really just, she's doing it again. <laughs> I thought she was, oh, I can't do it. She's talking too fast again. They aren't real. And the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt and pajamas and that, I, Alpheus. I, I just want to be impress you. I just want you to think that I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alpheus. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alpheus. Shh. Shh. What? What? Alpheus, I think you're neat too, I guess. <laughs> but you gotta realise, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100%. At maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alpheus, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. And I you. You're going to train me. Pfft, what? Me? <laughs> I knew it. What does he stop there? Juggly. Juggly? Juggly? I don't know. Nah, I'm going to get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps. Hootin' around, hootin' about great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I'm dying. I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Enemies real, right? <sighs> Enemies real. <laughs> anyway, gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Um, thanks for t taking care of Alpheus. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta catch up with them. Later! <laughs> what did I just witness? That was beautiful. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> that was just beautiful, that. Ah, oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, I can't believe I killed that Undyne before. I regret that. I regretted it before, straight as I did it. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Ring. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus. I did it again. This is Papyrus. You're also mutual friend. Alpheus and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly for no apparent reason. You should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. I feel like I'm losing these voices at the moment. Oh, I'm not feeling well anyway, so it's gonna go anyways. Okay. Let's go find Alpheus again. <laughs> Yo. Oh, she opened the door to me. You're still watching me. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, a note. It's enough from Alpheus. Read it? Yeah, read. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be better. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door and then offer this note. I read this so bad. You are at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. 
Okay. Warning, warning. What the heck? Elevator losing power. M tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Heck heck. Okay. Never mind you not seeing me again. I'm never gonna see anyone again. Be dead. This is why you don't take elevators and you take the stairs. Oh, this is creepy. Oh. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create power to freeze all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what is once living. So to create once more, we... To, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappeared immediately upon death. If only I could make monsters so last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. This will to keep living to resolve the fate change. Change fate. Let's call this power. Determination. Okay. This is really creepy. Okay. Uh, buy chips for 25, yeah? The vending machine just spends some chips. There's a lot of chips. There's not on the ground. You can't make it out. Elevator lost power. Enter the centre door. That's all you can read. Power room. This is really creepy, wow. I'm gonna go this way first. Entry number six. Asgard asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still coming to us. Coming to us? And soon, they'll all turn to dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom may be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things have gone well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Okay. This is really creepy. You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. Voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Oh shoot! What the heck? Okay, but nobody came. Oh my gosh! Memory head. Uh, refuse. That's a shame. Lori Ipusum Doctor. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Okay. Mercy? Spare? You won. Okay, that was really creepy. What the heck? And there's a red key line in the sink. You took it and put it into the keychain. What the flipping what? The flipping heck? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out. Drain. You dropped it. That's all you can read. Oh, okay, anyways, click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. I don't know what that did. So creepy, man. Entry number nine, I've already read this. What the heck? No wonder she's like how she is if this is where she'd be working. 
This has been abandoned for a while. So this is where she's been going all the time. No, so she's been working down here a lot. Okay. I'm gonna save it. Okay, so I can go this way now. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. What? It's an empty dog food bowl. What the heck? It's a bed. Entry number 14. Everyone that has fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goddess. This is so dark, like crazy dark. This is crazy dark. Great, great dark. Entry number 15. It seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls to the vessels back to Asgore. And I called all of the families and told them it was alive. I sent everyone back to Avon. What happens? Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, what's going on? What's going on? No. <laughs> what the heck? 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 Oh, there's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it in your cage, too. It's an empty bathtub. What the flippin' heck? I'm gonna go this way first. I am really creeped out right now. Like, this has took such a dark turn. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just really, I just get really sweaty. And there's a switch on the ball. Press it. Yeah, okay. Oh, great, that's gone. Oh, damn. <laughs> what? This is so creepy. This reminds me of off. Well, oh, yes, I'll deal with you now. It's uh, amalgam, amalgamate. Uh, Beckman, you call the am amal. It bounced towards you, flicking strange liquid from the or orifice. This is so creepy. This is so creepy. This is so creepy. What the heck? This is so creepy. Oh my gosh! Amalgate is hovering close. There. Amalgate is not excited. Do not play it. Okay. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What? Act get pet. You pet the get It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Then suddenly, it shoots away and crawls widely into the walls. What the heck? This is so creepy. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I don't have enough things. Um, play. You throw the weapon into the corner of the room. The Almagate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat the process a few times. Now Almagate is very tired. It leans it dripping Alpha Master's body on you. I am getting so freaked out right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm, I'm even thinking anymore. Careful. It's twitching affectionately. Pet? You pet the Almagate. It starts generating a stage of happiness for off. Alchemate has come full shit intensifies. I do glam what? You glam burger was maxed out. Damn it! Shit. Spare? No. This is really creepy. Alchemate. Pet? You pet? What the 
attack. Endo Genie is contented. What? Mercy. You won't. What the heck? What? 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 This is really creepy. Right, I wanna go this way before I do anything. Yeah. Flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, the monster cannot absorb the soul of the force. Is this going to tell me about Flowey? Because Flowey just doesn't really make sense. Because all them yellow flowers, and then there's suddenly a yellow flower that can talk. What about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessels are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from with control cases. Whatever. There are a hassle to work with anyways. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. I'm kind of nervous because that mirror says that it's just by everything you used to look like you. I was scared that at some point. What? You don't look like you. Um, pray. You kneel and pray for safety. It remembers his conscience. Has more to learn. What the heck is going on here? Pick on? You picked on the Reaper bird. Reaper bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Courage, rivet, rivet. What the? Okay, okay. Okay. Reaper bird seems. Pla Does that mean? Thank goodness. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. But that's all you can read. What are you gonna do? There's a blue colored star in the center. Need a blue key. Golden flowers. I'm gonna split, end up splitting the videos into two then, because this is gonna be a really long final video. Sweet lip. What the heck is that? Um, unhug. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> kind of want to. You hold a familiar tune. The lemon bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. This is creepy as hell. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, I shouldn't have hurt me. Sweet lemons. Um, screamed out, but nobody came. Do you think I'm pretty? <gasps> Damn it. I'm gonna die if I don't know. Careful! Wait him. Chips. Eat the potato chips, you can fit in HP. Do you think I'm ready? as loud as you could, but nobody came. Do you think I'm pretty? Hey, well, I think you're scary. Sorry! Flip an egg. I'm gonna die. Smells like sweet lemons. Act. Lemon bread. Call. You called for help, but nobody came. Do you think I'm pretty? Damn it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Can I get lost? Spare. That's what they want. Damn it, I died. See you in the next video.